Hundreds of Tennesseans marched to the state capitol today to bring attention to what they are calling preventable deaths. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Kim Chapman Whitfield. And I'm Josh Rowe. People carried caskets at the steps of the Tennessee Capitol. They were calling it a moral Monday rally. And those in attendance gathered in protest for tougher gun laws, or as they call it, common sense gun laws. It must be about the people refusing to accept children dying. Dying because politicians block gun laws that would save lives. They block health care that would save lives. They block living wages and refuse to address poverty that would save lives. And we are here and we will come again and again and again and again. Protesters then took their voices inside the state capitol to deliver their legislative demands to their state representatives and senators. The crowd called for multiple bills to be struck down. Including House Bill 1202, which would allow teachers and other school staff to carry guns in school. The bill is now held on the clerk's death. That means it could still be set for a hearing on the regular calendar, but it also means a vote could happen suddenly. Representative G.A. Hardway of Memphis explained that to the crowd chanting from the gallery during the session. I'm going to tell the gallery that bill can be pulled up at any point, any time, and because we're suspending the rules, the flow motion, it can be heard that same day with no notice to you that it's going to be pulled up and no notice to you on what calendar it's going to be uh, placed on. Now, the bill could still come back up, but it's already been pushed to the Senate's 2024 session. News Channel 9's Jordan Cornerback joins us now in studio to break down the bill that would potentially put more guns in your child's classroom. Jordan. Kim, Josh, this bill was expected to be up for debate tonight. I spoke with those who have experience inside schools to get their thoughts. My dad drove an hour with the kid to get the kids so they wouldn't witness any more agony, but not before the first mom was told her kid was gone. 13 years in pediatric oncology couldn't prepare this mother for the moment her child's school was attacked by a shooter, killing three children. I held kids in my arms as they died way too many times. Nothing compared to the scream of that mom. Caskets brought to the steps Tennessee lawmakers take to work every day in hopes that lawmakers will push for gun control bills following Nashville's school shooting. It sounds like there's multiple victims down inside the school. Shooter is down as now as well. One of those bills would allow faculty or staff members in a school to carry a concealed handgun on school grounds. Voting on House Bill 1202. All those in favor, please signify saying aye. aye. Opposed, no. I have without objection Monday's regular calendar. The bill requires teachers to have an enhanced handgun carry permit and complete yearly training. It's a lot of responsibility to put a gun on and walk into a school with a lot of children. Sinclinda Teppenpaw is a former substitute teacher for Hamilton County Schools with a license to carry. I am in favor of it if they choose wisely and they train the people that are, they're going to allow to carry. Seclinda says she is in favor of the bill, but has concerns that the level of training may not be enough. And if you can't get that, you're going to run into some major problems just putting a gun in a teacher's hand. That's a no-no. The bill requires 40 hours of basic training in school policing, a minimum of 40 hours of training specific to school policing and training post-commission each year to keep the license. I wouldn't hesitate to use it if I had to to protect children. I wouldn't, I wouldn't give it a second thought because that's the mo most important thing. 